Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another late night pouring episode. It's almost one o'clock in the morning and it's about 90 degrees in here. <laughs> um, tonight we are going to be doing a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with one of my colors, this beautiful Folk Art Treasure Gold in Green Gold, which I used in our last pour, and I absolutely just loved it so much as the base coat color. So we're going to be using that again. And I think what we're going to be doing tonight, let me move this over so I can show you my colors. We're going to be using this awesome split cup from Tracy Reed at AcrylicPouringTools.com. Oops, I have it upside down. And these are the split cups we're going to be using at PourCon in my split cup classes, which is so exciting. We're doing the spiral split cup and that wispy bits split cup pour. So tonight I think we're going to be doing the spiral wandering pour, which I'm very, very excited about. Let me show you the colors real quick and we'll get started. This one is Amsterdam Pearl White. Such a pretty color. Um, my pouring medium tonight is Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and American Floetrol and water. Kind of not too thin, not too thick. Mound on a mound and then sinks into itself pretty fast. Okay, so that's our Pearl White from Amsterdam. This one is Golden's Payne's Gray, which I haven't used in a bit, but I love. Very, very pretty. Beautiful, deep, luscious, dark. Not as cold as black, but a little bit warmer. Really, really pretty color. This one is Golden's Thalo Blue, which I'm kind of having this little love affair with now. <laughs> I, just, I love the way it looks. It's such a beautiful color. So that's the Thalo Blue. This one is, let me see if I can read the label on there. AJ, hey, can you read that? Like what it says on that sticker? The sticker says Royal Talons Amsterdam, Amsterdam. Standard Series. Acrylic color, 500 milliliter, turquoise green. Turquoise green. Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. <laughs> turquoise sorry. green. Sorry for all the extra dialogue. <laughs> so this is the turquoise green. Beautiful color. I just love this. And it pops so beautifully against that phthalo blue. It's just wonderful. And last but not least, we have our DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. we got to keep HOA happy. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that green gold color as our base. So I need to figure out what I want on either side of the cup because the two chambers on the outsides are going to be a little more prominent and the one in the middle and then these two are smaller. So I think maybe what we'll do is we'll put the pearl white on one side or maybe we'll layer the white with the gold because I really do like stacking the colors like that. It's very pretty. Yeah, we're going to stack the white and the gold together. There we go. And a little bit more pearl white. Okay. And I think that's going to pop really beautifully against that green gold that we're using. On the other chamber, on the other side, I think we're going to go with the Payne's Gray. And I'm not going to stack this one. I'm just going to pour it into this chamber. Okay. Which is squeaky gloves. My squeaky gloves, right? Um, let's put that turquoise green next to the panes. Because even when layering your split cup, you want light, dark, light, dark. You want contrast as much as possible. And let's put that pretty phthalo blue on this side. And then I think we're going to stack the center chamber again, but heavier on the gold than on the pearl this time. So some gold and some pearl. But I really like combining those two. It's a very pretty effect. And just works so beautifully together. Okay. All right, so now our cup is layered. Let's move these over. And we'll put our base coat down. So for that size canvas, we actually need 16 ounces of paint. That's a 10 ounce cup. You can get those, I don't know if I said it, at acrylicporktools.com from Tracy and her husband, Chris. They're awesome people and take good, good, good care of you. So this is my green gold. 
Let me get a stir stick. We'll give that a quick mix. Such a pretty color. I really like this one a lot. Okay, so let's put our base coat down. We're just going to pour it everywhere and tilt this out. sides are covered. Good. Okay. We talked about this in the last video a little bit. When you're putting down a base coat and you don't have any other colors on your table, it's perfectly okay to scrape your drips and put them back in your cup. Because this paint is very clean. It's got nothing else mixed with it. And I can totally use it again if I need to. So. Okay. Let's just wipe this down a little bit. Alright, so we're going to do our wandering spiral pour. So for this one, we don't go up high. We stay pretty close to the canvas because we want our rings to stay nice and in their pretty shape and we want them to be defined. So that's why my paint is not super thin. With ring pours where you want to keep the shape of the lines, you want your paint slightly, slightly thicker. Okay. I would like to keep a little bit of negative space on this also. All right, I think I'm gonna start like over here. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. Here we go. So when you're using your split cups, I highly recommend that you go wash them as soon as you are done pouring because you don't want to let that paint sit. This is looking really cool. I love this. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take this down a little bit because I don't want any more of it to fall off the edge and we're going to come over this way. Now you'll notice that my lines are mostly staying intact. They're not getting squiggly, hopefully. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this around. Move this down this way and off that bottom edge. And we're gonna take this down. Off that bottom. 
damage too. I want that base coat to run off if there's any extra. We're gonna leave some negative space on here. Did you see that wave, HLA? Yeah, I do. Introduce a little bit of a curve. Just a little bit. That's looking pretty neat. What do you think, honey? I think it's groovy as hell. Hmm? I think it's groovy as hell. It's got a ways of kind of go thing going on too. <laughs> you say that a lot when I use paint well, gray. <laughs> I know, I you know. know it's, uh... <laughs> okay, let's give this a torch. I really like this. I think it's super pretty. I love what's happening with that um, light aqua turquoise color, whatever it was, in here, next to the Payne's Gray and the Thalo Blue. That's really pretty. And all of these pretty lines. This part, though, right in here, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay. I'm not crazy about this gold right here, but I don't want to take it off because if I do, everything else is going to shift and move that way, and I don't want it to. So let's torch this. It looks good though. I like yeah, it. I like it. Yeah, that golden. There's a lot of movement in it. Very dynamic. Me. Okay. How long are we going to go? 14, 15, almost 15 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see how it looks now. Finished. That looks pretty cool. And we're going to push this one out of the way. And we're going to scrape this into a cup. And then I have a little tiny canvas, so I might as well pour on that one too. pouring something in and not messing with it too much has become really an important thing for me. And I think that once you pour it, the less you mess with it, the better it usually turns out. There was one, you remember that purple tiger? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one was crazy. It was a, uh, it was a ring pour, it was really pretty. And then I remember the cup, just the bottom of the cup touched the, the table, the canvas. And um, it left a little tiny mark, and I stretched the whole thing out. And by the time I was done stretching it out, that little mark was huge. And it was like an hour <laughs> of trying to fix this thing. It was, oh my God, it was crazy. All right, so that's cool. I do have this little tiny convexo round here. Um, and I have already painted it with a turquoise blue, but let's, um, let's go ahead and layer our split cup again. And I don't know, we'll see what, what happens. Let's see. We're gonna switch this up a little bit though. I'm gonna put some phthalo blue on this side and we don't need 10 ounces of paint so I'm not filling this whole thing up. Let's put that turquoise next to the phthalo. And we'll put some of the white, the pearl white in the center. Okay. 
gold. And then we'll use our Payne's Gray on this side. And I guess we'll just put the pearl white on this side. So we've switched it around just a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to put that same green gold base on here because I really like it. Um, let's get some Dixie Cups. Ooh, you know what I have? I got these in these two little things. Oops, I just dropped one. These, are, I think, are from Erica Hughes. They're awesome little paint stands. Erica is going to be a pork on also. I'm so excited. I can't tell you guys how excited I am about this. I love Vegas and I like pouring and this is just all my favorite people in one place. So, okay. We're going to pour this on here. We're just going to tilt this out. Okay. What if we yeeted that? <laughs> you did the split cup. Yeah. Might be kind of fun. Yeah. You have a better chance of getting spirals with that. You think so? Oh yeah, because the paint's already like coming out as as a, like a, a candy ribbon. Hmm. Okay. Just cover this. It's so funny. It's actually these smaller canvases. Are a little more difficult to work with than the big ones for me. For me. I don't know. Because you're not used to it. <laughs> no, I mean, I started working on smaller canvases. I just, I've always liked the bigger canvas because it's like unlimited potential. You know, there's so much space to do whatever you want. The final frontier, after all. <laughs> the blank canvas. Literally. So. What did, we, what did I say we were going to do? We're going to eat it or we're going to pour it? Or are you going to do a ring pour? Let's do a ring pour. It's okay. I haven't done ring pours in a while. Are you ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. I think we're just going to kind of start. Maybe up over here. coming out there. Negative space or no negative space? <laughs> I like negative space. You do? Even on this one? Mm, I don't Maybe know. Not. That's really cute. But I think I'm going to stretch it out some. Introduce a little bit of a curve there. I like what's happening in that part closest to you. Yeah. The, the blue and the gold. Yeah, exactly. It's cute. I like it. Very. Okay, I'm gonna leave that like that and then we're gonna torch that real quick because they do see. Actually, I'm not gonna torch it because I don't want to get a lot of those little speckly cells. Okay, I'm gonna leave that just like that. So that was fun. I hope you guys like this one. Uh, we have our big beautiful 15 by 30 over here, which we're starting to get some green gold cells popping up in there, which is pretty nifty. And we have our little 8 inch convex around. So this was fun. Uh, I will show you dried results and uh, we'll be right back. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, I hope I see you guys at PourCon. If you are coming, it's going to be amazing. Please do stop by my room and say hi. And uh, if you see me, come on over and give me a hug. I love it. And uh, we'll be right back. I love how this turned out. I think it's so pretty. There's something about that negative space 
with the kind of complicated pour on top of it. That's just so beautiful to me. I love this. I'm definitely getting waves crashing and kind of a lot of flow and a lot of movement. But these, these three parts over here are just amazing. A lot of that aqua, the bright turquoise green is coming through. And that pearl is giving us a little bit of purple throwing off of the blues, but it's also creating some really pretty green and then the little bits of the green gold coming through there. And I love this one too, it's so pretty. Very kind of iridescent color shifty. Beautiful stuff. And that base coat is that treasure gold green gold, which I love. Some gold cells on this side. They seem to be in a shadow over here. Really pretty stuff. Very, very happy with how this one came out. I love the simplicity of it. I love the complicatedness of the ring pour, the wandering rings, the spirals. So this is awesome. I'm very happy with this one. I encourage you guys, if you do find that folk art treasured gold paint, they do sell it at Michael's. Try it out because it's a lot of fun and gives really beautiful effects. So I wanted to show you guys the little convexo round we did also. It came out really cute. Pretty aqua, turquoise, veins gray, and that pearl. So, that's cute. <laughs> this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. I will see you all real, real soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye.